Hi guys, Ian from footballboots.co.uk here and today we're going to be talking about the Mercurial Superfly 5. That's right, you've probably seen some of the pictures already, they've been on Instagram, they've been on social, they've been everywhere and today we're going to talk you through a few details in this latest release from Nike. They're going to be available from June 2nd and let me get into what these boots are all about. They've made a lot of changes, they want to make them even more of a speed boot, they've made some changes on the sole plate, they've made changes on the upper and I'm just going to talk you through a little bit about that. There's also a change inside the boot, the way you fit foots into it. So I'm going to break down all those different aspects. We'll have a look at some of the different colorways that have already been seen and a few more you can expect. As I said, June 2nd, you might be able to get them a little earlier in the Nike Soccer app if you are signed up to that, and then that might be possible. And we're going to try and grab hold of a pair as soon as we can. We're going to get them tested, we'll get them reviewed, and they'll be on the channel and we'll tell you everything we can about them. All right, so let's break it down by first talking about the way that your foot fits in the boot. The first thing Nike have done is instead of having what is normally a flat sole plate and your foot would sit flat on the sole plate, they've now contoured it to fit people's feet. This could be a bit of an issue if you wear orthotics or something like that, but what they're thinking is that the way that somebody's foot fits in the boot, they've tried to kind of naturally contour it to fit your foot. And the idea being, if you think about a pair of true socks or something like that, when your foot moves around in a boot, it kind of slips and slides and you don't get that transfer of power that you would um, normally, but the true socks help you by keeping your foot stuck and moving around. Well, the idea is they're kind of wrapping the boot around your foot and helping you transfer power when you make your runs and make changes directions and make sprints and that kind of stuff. So it's a good innovation, but until we, we get a pair, until we get to try them on, it just means we don't really know what's happening sizing-wise. A lot of people found the Superfly 4s fit maybe half a size long or they fit true to size if you had those slightly wider feet. But this time around, we don't know how it'll fit, so just be aware that the fit is going to be different on the way that it fits around your foot. The next thing to talk about is underneath and um, that sole plate itself. So carbon fiber, what was used in the Superfly 4, a lot of people really favored the carbon fiber. When Nike have done those, they've managed to strip that out. Traditionally, boots, when they're made up the sole of them, it would be layers of material put on top of each other and on top of each other and on top of each other, and that's how they would make it. What they've managed to do is using a vacuum process, they've managed to make a hollow sole plate means, as I was saying, 40% lighter than the carbon fiber. And the way that they've done it over a couple of years of development, they've actually found something that is giving you a bit more um, kind of uh, feedback than you would get off a carbon fiber plate anyway. So it's gonna be faster and it's gonna be 40% lighter, which is a huge drop in weight for the boot. So that's a great um, change that they've made. The other thing that's going on with the sole is if you look, you can see that they've changed around the studs. So they went through a whole process of trying like different um, cleat configurations and different kind of angles and shapes and you see that like Puma or Adidas and Nike they all use different things for the cleats and the studs and everything that's on the sole of their boots and Nike have switched things up and they're using these kind of claw type ones and they think that that's going to help um, get a lot more um, acceleration and speed as you're running. They've added an extra one in the forefoot in a position that they didn't have it in before and they're kind of, kind of like, well they're shaped a bit like this. Anyway, and that's gonna be really great in the in the forefoot for your sprinting and your running. And then in the back, one of the things that they were really interested in doing was being able to make sure you can stop quickly as well, so you're braking. The concept being is that like, if you're running really fast, you need to be confident that you can stop quickly. If you're confident you can stop quickly, then you'll do it at the last minute. If you're not confident, then you might start slowing down a bit too early. So at the back, they've actually got the studs going the other way, and that is to aid the braking on the heel. So anyway, you'll notice that the sole plate is like completely different than what you've seen on the four, and it should be a nice little improvement on the fives. The next thing to talk about is the upper itself. And as you can see by looking at them, they've added this kind of rib design to it. It varies in different places about how much of a rib there is. And the idea is about having control between the ball and your foot. Uh, some areas it's about a millimetre thick and other areas it's about two and a half mil. And it just depends, they've looked at those areas that players use when sprinting and running with the ball. So it's different on the lateral to the medial side. It's um, kind of changes from where you're having touches where you're dribbling. And then other areas where you want to strike the ball, it's a different thickness. But the ribs is all over the, the boot. It gives a nice like design thing, gives them something that they can add some colours to and make things look interesting for players when on the pitch running around with them. But also it is a performance thing. It's all about you controlling the ball and striking the ball and making things much better in that aspect. So a lot of people were wondering about the um, Superfly 5, would it still have a dynamic fit collar? Obviously Ronaldo wears his with the lower cut. They have kept it for the 5. One of the things we're kind of noticing through some of the imagery and we'll find out for sure when we get to see a pair in hand and close up is it looks like the seam. They've taken out some of that kind of plastic that would cause the irritation on your heel. A lot of people had trouble with the Superflies initially when they were wearing them and it was kind of giving uh, rubbing and that kind of stuff which isn't good for blisters and just when you were breaking the boots in, it was giving issue, and we think that perhaps the seam has gone a little bit more kind of hypervenom-like, so it doesn't have the 
uh, plastic over it, which was causing the rubber. The seam is in still that straight line down the back. It's not in a different position, but it is set up in a slightly different way that it should perhaps fit a little bit better to your foot. But yes, the, um, the collar does remain. So the other thing is it still has ACC on the uppers. It's we've seen on all kind of Nike boots at the moment. The Brio cables, they're integrated in with the ribs. So you kind of don't see them as much on here, but they are lined up with the ribs. So the Brio cables there and they're locking down your foot into these boots as well. Anyway, a lot of really exciting, interesting changes with the Superfly. You've seen all these pictures here. As soon as we get a hold of a pair, we'll be showing you real close-ups in action of them. A lot of good stuff to come. All right, guys, well, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Um, we're going to go enjoy my football. See you later. Hi guys, Ian from Football Boots, Stuff KK here, and today we wanted to do a special 100,000 subscribers video. That's right, we hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, and we have a little collection of boots to be showing you here. So this is pretty much my personal collection of boots at the moment.